Hello, Macy here. I've been asked by Ryan the Solar Gamer to contribute to the International Moon Space Station, which is a great honour for me. So this is my contribution to that effort. If you want to see what's gone up there already, then please check out the links in the description. You're probably asking, Macy, why the hell do you sound so different? And that's because thanks to your donations, thanks very much for that, I've managed to procure a decent microphone, and I'm sure some of you will be very happy to hear that but unfortunately I don't really know how to set it up properly at the moment and it sounds a bit bad but I'll work on it it seems to be picking up lots of ambient noise and things I don't want it's too good you see you bought me a mic that's too good but anyway I need to um, play around with it a bit and see if I can improve it but thanks once again for each one of you that donated it's very very much appreciated swiftly back to the subject of this video this is the ascent stage I'm just beginning my turn here making orbit and that's the final stage I've just dropped off. I just It's just basically two big fuel cans with lots of little fuel cans strapped to the side, half of which have rockets, half of which is just fuel to dump. So this is me reaching Apple Apps. It's not actually a very good ascent profile this, but I've got lots of power in these engines and I'm actually experimenting with this new skipper engine which is like one down from a normal mainsail. And um, I actually found it to be quite efficient actually, I'll be using this in future. So now I just have one can of fuel and one skipper engine attached to get me to the moon, which is going to be plenty enough. Huge acceleration and uh, this is me just laying the manoeuvre node to find moon, moon, moon capture. Please don't comment, I don't really care how to pronounce it. Well I do, but I don't think there is a right way to pronounce it. anything you would say a hundred people would disagree with you, so I don't really know. Each to their own. It's a, it's a name. It's Moon to me. Moon. So, anyway, here we are. Just finalising and tweaking that capture there. And now I need to just put one more at the ascending node to flatten out this orbit. We've talked about this before. Very important. And it just saves a lot of trouble when you're in orbit. If you flatten out your trajectory and come in bang on the ecliptic. So here we are, leaving Kerbin behind. And off to the moon. So, what did I build? Well, I think an asset like that needs some sort of protection, so I've gone for a missile defence pod. I'm restricted to 35 parts, which was a little bit um, difficult. So each one of these missiles comprises of five parts, and they're exactly the same as the um, SMS on the Vanguard, and there's just a docking port at the back, exactly 35 parts. So and then obviously the ascent stage of which there's no restriction just get it to the moon so it's just a standard rocket assembly so we can just see the moon there coming closer a nice eclipse of the sun as we go past and on our way in I was asked to build a module and maybe it's taking a small liberty making missiles but it's a missile module and who knows what space pirates could be patrolling these outer moons and uh, anyway how about space junk and asteroids and so on they may need protection from all sorts of things you may question it now but they will thank me in the future so we've now arrived at the moon and uh, that's the space station so I need to retro burn this and make a stable orbit and then I can rendezvous with this now pretty huge space station actually and I think we're running out of docking ports so I need to find a docking port somewhere there is a couple I did have a, a look and um, it's quite magnificent actually, I'm looking forward to showing it to you and uh, we'll try and get this thing attached so here I am just making the rendezvous I think these community projects are absolutely great actually and um, I'm really glad, I'm really pleased to be a part of one and uh, I'd like to be a part of maybe more in the future and maybe even run a few myself, you know for my series I will be introducing your ships and uh, bear with me for some rules and regulations about how to do that that's the video coming next so here it is hoving into view on the final approach it really is quite beautiful actually I think it's a nice shape I wouldn't have thought of doing it like that and that's what's quite good about these community things because they evolve in certain ways I think Harv rearranged it a bit but I like what he's done it does look very space stationy and uh, here we are just lining us up with this docking port I think um, this is a good place to put it on this arm here so we're free of the rest of the structure. As you know these SMS missiles are guided so they don't have to go straight at a target and here I am just 
backing onto it. It's a little bit laggy, so I'm taking it easy. But then I can't connect for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm right up against the port and it's not pulling shut. I think maybe the magnetic seal has been turned off. Um, but I don't really want to switch targets now. I might push it around. So I'm just trying to... And there it is at last. So we are attached. And now along with Danny's fighter, we can defend this station. I'm just cycling through the pilots here so I can find the pilot that's now in my module. And there's quite a few Kerbals on board. Some very familiar names here um, already on board. And I'm just trying to find our guy. And where is he? Uh, okay, there he is. So I'm just going to switch to him and take a look inside the cockpit. And let's fire this final stage off. Get it away from us. There she goes. And now we're free to... Oh, hang on, what's this? Um, we're rocking around, I think... Oh dear. That's caused a bit of instability. Um, which is slightly worrisome. Please don't break. This is not my station. I would feel terrible if I broke it. Um, but that's not looking too good. It's a bit wobbly. I think the structure is um, a bit thin and a bit weak in the middle there. But it's okay. It's... um steadying down I think I'm going to reload it there you go nice and straight now so let's test these missiles let's get rid of that ascent stage I can see still floating away there it's a good target for now just to test they're working correctly so let's just release one and uh, send it on its way these SMS missiles just are basically a um, can of propellant a very small um, probe body a docking port at the back and a single linear RCS thruster and it's just a case of manoeuvring around and matching up our heading with the target there and just accelerating as much as I can to generate as much um, kinetic energy and see if we can knock out this target although it's not really a target it's just a couple of fuel cans really but see if we can knock them apart a bit and just test the effectiveness of these um, we're not going to be able to destroy it utterly you've seen these work before they're more anti-fighter but if I can knock anything off this I'll be happy so I'm just trying to build up my speed here the faster we go the more likely we are to cause some damage and here it goes and bang so that went bang quite nicely you can see bits of it flying off there although that's probably bits of the missile itself let's take a better look and we've nipped off the ASAS which is um okay I guess but it takes quite a bit of force to rip one of those off a big can so we didn't do too badly um, so I think that works. So here it is, the IYMSS, now fully capable of defending itself. Um, we actually have to apologise for the extra bit of space junk I've left lying around out there, actually come to think of it. But OK, that's my contribution, and um, I hope they approve. <laughs> but then again, they probably expected that of me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, bye for now.